I implore you, we must destroy that tower. Sergeant, that tower is one of the oldest and most treasured of all the historically important structures. Now, I'm not going to be the son of a bitch responsible for turning a thousand years of history into dust. The tower stands! Hello, Ninth Age community, and hello, YouTube. This is Charles with Evershade Gaming, bringing you Game 3 of Siege of the Tower, the local Ohio uh, tournament I played in last week. So, I'm just going to hop right into it. The spells my wizard got were Molten Copper, Glory of Gold, Corruption of Tin, and Word of Iron. Didn't really want uh, Corruption of Tin, but there wasn't anything I could drop it out for, so... I mean, I'm playing Vermin Swarm, so he doesn't really have much armor. My opponent's spells, he got Evil Eye, that's, or that's the attribute. Then he has Bewitching Glare, Twisted Effigy, The Wheel Turns, and Deceptive Glamour. I was really interested to actually play an opponent taking Witchcraft, because to me it's a pretty cool looking lore, I, but I don't see a lot of armies taking it. You know, Divination's high up there and lore is being taken, Shamanism's high up there and lore is being taken, uh, and then, you know, maybe Alchemy's third right now. Uh, so it was kind of interesting. Uh, for the magic my opponent did get off, I found it really effective what he was doing. Um, so that's pretty cool, at least. I'm also just going to go over my opponent's list right now. He, I just have a physical copy of it. He has a Magister with four spells, uh, and Wizard Master, Book of Arcane Power, and Tales of the Supreme Shielding. You know, it was really interesting. At this tournament, I saw a lot of Wizard Masters with the Book of Arcane Power. Is pretty much people just went all in on magic if they could. Then he has two Chiefs. Uh, One's a BSB, or Etsy's three chiefs. One's a BSB with Mithra Male, Halberd, Charter, Psycon. Then he has another chief with the Dark Shard Brew. Blessed Sword, Talisman of Greater Shielding. And he's got Heavy Armor and a Shield and a Pistol. And then he has another chief with the Dark Shard Brew, Skull Splitter, Shield Heavy Armor. He's this Karn Assassin with uh, just a Divine Icon. That's all his characters. And in core, he's got 37 Rider Arms, another 36 Rider Arms, 34 Vermin Guard uh, with the Rending Banner. 25 slaves, and then he has two meat grinders, two rat swarms, five gazelles, ten gutter blades, a lightning cannon, and a single abomination. So, uh, an interesting list. Um, I'm glad he didn't have a play pendulum. Those things really scare me. Same thing with like uh, the vermin lords, like the big greater vermin demons or something. Those things are also terrifying to me. So, let's look at the for game three, the deployment is in circle, but both sides have the attacker option. Or it's actually, it's more than that. Uh, we have to get 12 inches in our center and 18 inches on our flank. So we're really close together at the start of the game. So I have Dark Raiders, a Hunting Chariot, a Raptor Chariot on Hill. You can see those dice sets, how much farther they could be up. And then a Bolt Thrower, my Repair Auxiliaries with my Wizard in there, and then my 30 Executioners with the Harpies behind them. And then behind, or then next to that unit is my Divine Altar with my Legionnaires in it and my BSP. Another Raptor Chariot, a, another Bolt Thrower on the hill, my General on his horse, and then five more Dark Raiders. And I did drop to go first. Uh, this is my Vanguard. Uh, and then this is me Vanguarding back. And then I actually missed pictures of my opponent's deployment, so the, this is turn one. Right off turn one. Uh, I move the chariots as far as I can because um, you know I just gotta kind of engage his shooting. I move my dark raiders all the way up to shoot it. I was gonna shoot at the uh, rotary gun, but I end up shooting at the gazelles. Move my executioners up, not too much I'm scared of. I use the five up uh, ward against artillery on the altar, and then I kind of just move up. I'm kind of hoping to counter charge with those that chariot my general into his uh, abomination in the shooting. Phase, kill a couple gazelles, and then this is Vermisworn's turn one. So no charges, the abomination flies up, and he kind of just turns to face the Dark Raiders. The gazelles are going to shoot forward. Uh, my opponent had a big magic phase turn one. Actually, actually only seven to five, um, but he gets a ton of spells off. He gets he's putting an evil eyes everywhere. Um, he's putting septic glamour on these guys. He puts stupid on the hunting chariot. Or, I can't think of what the spell is, but it gives it stupid, uh, stupidity, bewitching glare, yeah. My opponent just rocked it. I, I believe I failed to uh, stop a spell, and then with his plus three, he was just two dicing spells off. So, really good job there. Uh, the assassin shoots the bolt thrower and does three wounds. 
this was huge for me. I rolled like four or five armor saves on those Dark Raiders. He did five wounds with Rotor Gun. I just made a bunch of five ups. The Gisales do one wound to my Hunting Chariot, which is not too bad. Uh, his cannon, his lightning cannon, does three wounds to his Raptor Chariot, which is rough. It had a five up against artillery, too. Dread Elf turn two, uh, my Hunting Chariot fails the stupidity test. And then I charge my General and my Raptor Chariot into the Abomination. I give the Lethal Striker up because my General's with him 12 inches, so he can reroll his wounds against that thing. Uh, over here, I charge the Rotor Gun. And then this is the rest, the rest of my movement, looks like. So just kind of pushing up with everything. Um, distracting that side with, or keeping that block on the side held up with his, uh, oh, with my harpies. The magic phase is four to five, and I pretty much just get off molten copper and kill the rest of the Gisales, but I miscasted doing it, and I lose all but one of my, uh, repeater auxiliaries, so that's rough. Uh, and the combat goes well, I kill the abomination. The chariot actually did three wounds with its impact hits, and then my general only got one wound past its regen, but he multiplied the three wounds, which the chariot stays put, and my general overruns into those rat swarms, which was nice. And then my dark raiders make easy work of that rotary gun. And then Vermisworn's turn two, so he charges his Sakara assassin at the harpies, which was a good move. And just turns his block to face my stuff. And then he moves the slaves in from the executioners, and he turns his block to face my incoming, you know, chariots. And then he's holding back his block with his general's PSP. The magic face is good for my opponent again. He gets uh, nine to seven dice. He gets uh, the wheel turns off of my executioners. I kind of let it go because I'm just dealing with slaves in front of me. He does get on. He does put the attribute on the chariot, which I don't like. And then uh, I, I think he miscasted it on one of the spells. He loses some of his right arms. And then my opponent forgot to roll for his dark charge bruise, so he gets lightning reflex on this unit and lightning reflexes on that unit. This unit had the scar assess on the flank. The one in the middle has his general VSP. His cannon misfire, and it just shoots in a straight line, but it just barely misses my chariot. And then his assassin easily beats the harpies. And my general easy be easily beats the rat swarms. So, Dread Elf turn three. I charge my raptor chariot into his the cigar assassin, and he actually does one wound with his uh, shooting weapons, but I make a, like a five-up armor save, which was pretty sweet. My general charges the lightning cannon. Uh, doesn't suffer any DTs, which is awesome. And then my executioners just go into the slaves. And this is what the rest of the movement looks like. So kind of keeping my executioners buffed with the altar, with the lethal strike rule, which is really nice now that I'm only moving on four ups uh, with the wheel. Magic is 7-4. I first try and get Word of Iron off on the executioners. Uh, he stops that though, but I get Molten Copper off. Uh, and I do some damage, and then I get my Ring of Fire off, and I do more damage, and then my opponent fails two Leadership 8 tests with uh, that block, and they run off the board, unfortunately. Uh, so I felt really bad for my opponent there, because that was his wizard, uh, you know, master in a bunker. Shooting, kill some rat swarms, and then the executioners easily chop through the slaves, and they don't even take any wounds back. Uh, but this current assassin does kill my chariot, and he only takes one wound from the impact test, which I thought was pretty good, and he reforms to look this way. So at the start of Vermisworn's turn three, uh, my altar unit is not that far from all these units, unfortunately. I had bad positioning on my part. So he actually charges with those two units first. I bounced there, and then he was going to charge the general's unit, but I we got out of the way. So, uh, But I do cause a panic test on my wizard and chief leaves. And then... Pretty much that's all that happened in Vermis Horn's turn three. He really only he only has a little bit of shooting left. And no magic. So we go right into Dread Elves turn four. My fleeing units rally, thankfully. Um, and then I kinda just do some shooting, do a little ring of fire, and I kill the Sakar Assassin. And uh, I think I did a little shooting over here, kill a couple guys. Uh, my general, you know, the shoot over here, kill a couple guys. Uh, Vermin Swarm's turn four. He attempts to charge the general unit on the executioners, but he fails. And then, you know, he does some more shooting on my Dark Raiders. He kills a couple guys over there with the Skull Splitter on that one chief. And then his, finally his gutter blades came on. I swear, I was, my opponent was having a rough game. And he, you know, like, you know, three turns in a row they didn't come on, which is terrible. 
So they finally come on and they kill the wizard, which was good. Good for him. Good justice. At the start of Dreadal turn 5, I decide it's time to kill his generals unit. I put my executioners in there and I put my uh, general in there. I do some shooting here and there, kill some gutter blades, kill some rat swarms, you know, pick on that other rider arms unit, and then I just I whoop on his general's unit. My general pursues them off the table, or actually, uh, he pursues them, but he doesn't quite go off. So, and then Berman swarms turn five. He moves up to kill my repeater cross or repeater auxiliary that was still sitting on this objective. Because um, that is the uh, game uh, object objective is uh, secure the target, so uh, he forces me to go claim that. This is what the end of Vermsworn's turn looks like. So dread off turn six to charge my chariot into these guys. I only lose one wound from the stand and shoot, uh, and I kind of easily kill them. I don't actually pursue them, or I might pursue them, but I, I got all the points from. And then Vermsworn's turn six, my opponent. Uh, you know, we were actually about to call it right here, um, but I said, like, you know, why don't you shoot at those dark raiders uh, so that you can, like, you can get a point. And that's exactly what happened. He killed the dark raiders with the skull splitter, or he might even just charge in there. And um, and then he was, it actually ends up being a 19-1 for my opponent instead of 20 0 which, which is, you know, one point's always better than nothing, uh, especially after my last game. That's what I thought. So this looks at the end of the game, minus those two dark raiders in front of that rat of arms unit. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, I, I, I got some good dice this game, I'll be honest, you know, like, my magic face were pretty good, you know, like, things stayed alive, you know, like, that bolt thrower stayed alive, you know, like, uh, it just worked out well this game, uh, and I thought my opponent deployed very well, I actually think he, I think he might have out-deployed me, I just got, I got really lucky stopping, you know, because one of his meat grinders flew off the table with his wizard master, it was in that one on the hill, and I, I, I was terrified of going into that thing, you know, it's just got so many grinds, and I just don't know if I can kill it when I go in there, uh, but yeah, so I mean, this was a fun game for the most part, um, diff a couple bad rolls on my opponent's uh, part, uh, and some really hot rolls, some really hot and spicy rolls on my part, but overall, very fun game, um, glad to have gotten a game against Vermin Swarms, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever played them in 8th uh, edition, and this is my first time playing them in 9th edition, and I've always feared them from afar. Um, but now after playing them, I think I think there's certain parts of the Vermin Swarms army that is really scary. You know, the Plague Pendulum, the Sakaris, the Sakar Assassin. I still think he's pretty scary. Um, he's just you know he's got a lot of attacks. You know he he had no problem killing that chariot. I mean even though only had one wound, you know he did he would have killed a full wound chariot. That's the game. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.